Joe, a three to victory against Dundee United this afternoon. What a way to start the week. Yeah, definitely. It's a hard place to come. Um, and obviously, especially being 1 0 down at half time, it was maybe looking as if it, we weren't, weren't going to get three points. But I think we showed great character and resilience to come back and get the three points. How did you feel the first half <coughs> performance went? Because going 1 0 uh, one down at half time, I felt a bit aggrieved, to be honest. I didn't feel like we deserved that kind of result going in at the break. I would agree. Um, I think it was, it was kind of even. Uh, first half, I don't think there was much in it. Maybe we edged it slightly, but I think I'd probably 0 uh, 0 would have been a fair result. But We've got to get on with it and um, we shook ourselves down at half time. Uh, we had a word about what, how we could create more um, and obviously second half we could have scored more than three also. I think you scored within the first 10 to 12 minutes of the second half and that really got us going, talk us through the goal. Yeah, the boy, I was going to have to my right and the boy's, the boy's in front of me so drifted it to my left and um, it was a, got a good connection with it and obviously it just went in so no, I was delighted to go off the mark here as well. Right in front of the Dunfermline fans as well and it was some celebration as well. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, obviously I know it's, it's a big game um, coming here um, and it obviously got his level at the, the time so uh, it was just sheer, sheer joy um, to get his level and thought it was nothing more than we deserved as a team. You scored a lot of goals from midfield over the course of your own spells at Queen of the South and Dumbarton. First goal for Dunfermline then we'll be hoping for a lot more from you as well. 100%, something I like to add to my game. Um, <laughs> It helps, it helps the team, takes the pressure off the, the forwards um, and yeah, if I can help in any way, shape or form, going forward and defensively, then we're more than happy. Talk us about the, the two goals by the Longridge brothers. It, it was two um, kind of individual goals, Jackson Longridge sneaking in at the back post and Louis Longridge some great footwork and a, a camp finish. Yeah, Jackson's uh, done well to put his head in, it seemed to take an age to go in, but I always looked as if it was going to go in, but it's kind of slowing down, slowing down, but the second one, I think, uh, the, sorry, the third one by Louis was brilliant feet, I think he's twist and turned the boy three or four times and then there's a brilliant finish and, um, and then that turned out to be the winner. And the goal that went in for Dundee United near the end to make it 3-2, any nerves out there on the park? Not really, I mean, didn't, they didn't really look like scoring and they've only scored two, obviously two set plays, but I thought we defended, the defence was really tight um, and obviously they didn't really look like scoring at all and I, really with James playing right back, obviously not his natural position, I thought he was brilliant as well today. Five wins out of five in competitive action so far this season, so you couldn't ask for much more? No, um, you couldn't, but we've got a, obviously a really hard game next week against Ross County. Many people's favourites to win the league, but it's one that we'll definitely be looking to take three points from, and we believe in, in there that we definitely can. When you look at the guys that were missing today, either through injury or suspension, they won't be else trying to get back into this start, Norton. Yeah, 100%. Um, we've got really good competition for places. Um, as you said, you've got Higgy, Rizzo and... Tom uh, and obviously Louis Martin as well, so that's a really good competition for places. Um, one bad game and you could be finding yourself on the bench or whatever, but no, it, it pushes you on and gives you, gives you an extra incentive to do well. As you said, Ross County, um, one of the team's tip for promotion and it's who we come up against next week, so another tough task, but we'll go into it with confidence. Definitely, as you said, it's five wins out of five, couldn't have asked for more so far, so yeah, we'll go and attack the game like we did the second half and I'm sure we'll be fine. 1,300 Dunfermline fans through today, you'll be homing for a, a much bigger home support next week? Oh, different, different class today, I couldn't, uh, couldn't believe how, how good it was, obviously it's the first time I've really experienced, experienced that um, in the league to come away like that, but no, it was brilliant and I think they really did help us, especially after we got that first goal, I think they kind of helped push us over the line. Perfect, thanks Joe. No problem, cheers. Thank you. Thank you.